I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac. Today we're in front of Ventrac headquarters and we're going to show our 72 inch fine cut flail in action. We're standing in one of the fields that surrounds our factory that we don't mow weekly like some of the other areas. This is the type of area that's really too overgrown for a finish mower. That would get overwhelmed and leave a lot of clumping, but it's also a little bit overkill to use a rough cut mower on an area like this as well. This is a perfect application for the flail mower because it can take this taller grass that's a lot more dense than finished turf and turn it into something that looks like finished turf when we're done. Today we're going to take this grass from that 12 to 18 inch mark down to three and a half inches. When we're done, it should look really manicured and it should look much better than if you tried to use a rough mower on an application like this. The area we're cutting is between one and two acres and even though it's dense and a little bit overgrown compared to normal finished turf, the 72 inch finished flail should make very quick work of this. This particular application is well suited to the fine cut flail over the fast cut version because the fine cut uses flat blades that pull the grass up and leave a little bit nicer finish when you're done. If this grass was two or three times as tall as it is, we might opt for the fast cut flail so that we could cruise at a better operating speed. Another advantage that plays into that cut quality that we want here is the fact that this deck is out front of the tractor. That means the deck is the first thing to hit the uncut grass and you're not gonna be dealing with the tractor driving over that grass before you get to it with the deck. That'll improve cut quality and it'll make it easier on me as the operator to see what's going on and maneuver around anything in my way. Since we are trying to take an area that's a bit overgrown that we don't regularly maintain and cut it down, we still want it to look as good as possible. With the Ventrac fine cut flail, you'll notice throughout the video that this deck stripes incredibly well, even in grass like this that's not perfect finished turf. That's enough of the technical details. Let's get to the fun stuff and start mowing. As you can see, we're done with this acre and a half or so. The underestimated benefit of being able to do a field like this that quickly and have it look this nice is that it allows you, if you have a huge property like this that you're managing, uh, to have some areas that are managed a little bit differently just to save time and labor. So on this property, we have enough acreage that we keep a lot of it very nice, weekly cut, uh, beautiful grass. I mean, we're Ventrac, we want it to look great, right? but we really don't have the time to take some of these fields that we don't use for anything right now uh, and mow them every week. 
So being able to flail mow it like this and have it look really good saves us a lot of hours in the end. The very first thing I noticed almost immediately after starting to mow was that this field was incredibly wet. We're pretty late in the season here. We're into November and it's early in the morning, so the field hasn't had any time to dry. We've also had a lot of moisture come down in the last 48 hours or so. So this field was incredibly wet and it would have been pretty much impossible to mow with a finish deck. It would have plugged up, it would have cut horribly, uh, discharge would have been awful. And the flail just, it took a little bit longer because it was that wet, but it just chewed right through it and ultimately ends up looking really, really good. So that's another case where uh, you don't have to really stop at all for moisture like that. It's something that can stop you dead in your tracks if you're using a finish deck and you just have to wait it out, wait till it dries. Along with that point about how wet the field is, uh, we wanna show the bottom side of this deck for sure now, just to see what it looks like. We haven't looked at it yet, but we're just gonna show the flip up procedure and show you what the bottom of this deck looks like. Now we're gonna do a quick overview on the flip up procedure for the flail mower. This is the same across all four models that we sell. The first thing you wanna do is change the cut height to the lowest setting. So you wanna come over on both sides. This is one of the biggest advantages of our flail mower is that you can change the cut height in almost no time and you don't need any tools to do it. And then what you wanna do is pull this pin right here. As you can see, there is a fair bit of grass on the flap and some stuff stuck to the roller, but for the most part, uh, there is nothing in this deck. If you look back at the housing above where the rotor sits, there's literally no grass ab above there and uh, almost nothing collected in the corners. So we're completely clean for the most part uh, and, and certainly able to process nearly anything else that we go into today. Uh, so that's another nice thing about the flail mower. You don't have to worry about this type of grass plugging things up and, and making problems for you uh, if you're starting early or starting when it's wet. This is a pretty good indicator of how tough these conditions actually are. Uh, anytime you see this where you've got grass that's just piling up and sticking to caster wheels like this in layers, uh, you, you know that you're in really difficult conditions and the average mower deck is gonna struggle to handle this. Thanks for watching this video on the Ventrac Fine Cut Flail. For more information on this product and our other attachments, visit us online at ventrac.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos and follow us on all of our other social media. Thanks for watching.